New York City, USA, home to Fifth Avenue, and once a year, the famous thoroughfare welcomes athletes from around the world for the Fifth Avenue Mile. The event sees over 6,000 participants of all ages and abilities complete the mile course from East 80th to East 60th Street on Fifth Avenue. Now, in its 35th year, the mile always recruits the world's finest middle distance stars to compete in the elite races. Heading up the men's race this year was two-time champion Nick Willis of New Zealand. He was up against leading Americans Matt Centrowitz and 40-year-old Bernard Legat. With the group together through the early stages, 24-year-old Ford Palmer, also from the US, hit the front and built up a small lead. The leading athlete at the halfway point receives a $1,000 bonus, providing they can complete the race in under four minutes. But unfortunately, Palmer couldn't manage to do so. the athletes entered the final 400 metres, America's Daniel Hooling took the lead and was tracked by Great Britain's Chris O'Hare. However, all were soon overtaken by 32-year-old Nick Willis with his famous kick finish. The showboating Kiwi took victory ahead of O'Hare, with Henrik Ingebrigtsen of Norway holding off Matt Centrowitz for third place. Willis is getting used to timing his sprint finish well on the streets of the Big Apple. You can't judge the distance by sight, but I've got markers every 400 metres. But basically I wanted to make a move once I saw everybody else had hit their maximum speed so that if I was able to go to the next gear, I knew no one else would be able to match that again. The women's mile was billed as a straight contest between American rivals Jenny Simpson and Shannon Robry. The duo have enjoyed many battles over the years, including the mile race at the Brussels Diamond League less than 48 hours before this Fifth Avenue mile. In that race in Belgium, 31-year-old Robry edged Simpson out by just eight hundredths of a second. As the athletes approached the halfway stage, it was 800 meters specialist Alicia Montano who led the pack, with Simpson and Robry tracking her. The pair looked set for another battle until Dutch athlete Susan Kuyken surged into the lead. However, despite Kuyken's best efforts, she was soon overhauled by the battling Americans. Twenty-nine-year-old Simpson was going for her third consecutive victory here and hoping to cement her position as the most successful female athlete in the history of the event. And Jenny did just that, leaving enough in the tank to pull clear of Robry for her fourth win at the Fifth Avenue Mile. On the starting line, I was thinking 24 hours ago, I was getting off a transatlantic flight to get here, but um, it feels good. It's almost emotional to come here and win. Um, I had a disappointing world with some mishap, and I feel like I go there representing a city like this, like the Americans, the dreams, the hopes that people have for our sport. And so it was hard for me. So I said the way to make up for it in my spirit is to win in New York.